Here we are in Civ 6. We'll start off with a single player game. We'll create a game. We'll pick uh, Simon Bolivar for reasons that we'll see later. And that's all that we really need to change here. So we'll go ahead and start this game. So I'm going to build a city here. It's got one food and three production. Let's see what we end up with. Oh, that's interesting. I'll turn the yields on. We end up with two food and two production. So what happened here was when you build a city, it picks the bigger of two food and one production. We started with one food. The, the city takes the bigger of two food, two food or one food. So that's two food. And then on the production, uh, the city will take, once you build the city, it'll take the bigger of one production or whatever was in there before. Well, whatever was in there before was three production, but when we built the city, the woods were torn down. It's, the woods gave an extra one production. So this type of uh, terrain, Plains Hills, generates two production. The woods beforehand generated another production. So that's three production. When we built the city, we tore down one production that gets us down to two production. And then this, when the city's built, it'll take the bigger of one production or whatever's out there right now, which is two production. So that's where this comes from. Here we're going to the second tile. It's up in the upper left. It's got one food, one production. And let's go see what happens. We've got uh, two food, one production. That makes sense. Um, we didn't have any planes features to be removed. We didn't get a pop-up saying I'm removing the wood feature. So starting with one food, one production, a civilization takes the bigger of one, one and two, one, and that's where the two, one comes from. So here we are, we're ready to do the third tile, which is immediately to the left. Uh, so we'll move over there. It's got uh, three food, one production, we'll move over there and we'll go ahead and build the city. Now's your last chance to take a guess at what it's gonna end up being. Okay, so there's a tile improvement called a rainforest that it's gonna get rid of. We'll go ahead and get rid of it. And we went from three food, one production to two food, one production. So what happened there was the rainforest apparently gives uh, one food, one production. And we got rid of the rainforest, so we're down to two food, no production. And then we take the bigger of two food, no production, and the city value of two food, one production. And that's where the two food, one production comes from. Looks pretty nice sitting out there right next to the uh, mountain. So we're ready to do the fourth tile. Uh, that's directly southwest. Uh, it's got two food, no production. And we'll see what happens when we head over there. Uh, this turns out to be grassland. And when we build the city, we get two food, one production. Not much complicated there. Uh, by the way, stay to the end to see how I do that uh, neat rotating effect, which I find uh, really neat. Now we're ready for the fifth tile uh, down to the uh, lower right or southeast. Uh, this is a little interesting because I'll go ahead and turn on the uh, bonus resources. I turned on the bonus resource indicator, which also turns on the luxury resource indicator and the strategic resource indicator. Uh, so down to the lower right here, there's a uh, cotton luxury resource. Uh, right now the tile's got one food, one production and three gold. So let's see what happens when we move and uh, build a city down there. First thing I wanna do is go over and look at our resources right now. We've got no luxury or strategic resources. 
So I'm going to go ahead and build this city. And uh, now I've got two food, one production, and three gold. So we start out with one, one, three, and we compare that to two, one, and we add uh, one food to get our two food, one production, three gold. We're sitting here on a plain style. There was no terrain feature to remove, so we didn't get a pop-up uh, warning us that that was going to be removed. Uh, but the big question is, what happened to the luxury resource cotton? Well, let's just see. Oh, so when you build a city on top of a luxury resource, uh, you'll gain access to that resource even if you don't have the uh, technology to uh, extract that. So that's interesting. Let's move on and see what happens next. So we're ready for our final tile to take a look at. It's this tile over here immediately to the right. It's got one food, two production. Uh, we'll move the city over there and build it and see what happens. My guess is this has a train modifier of woods on our original tile. Uh, when we built a city, it removed the woods. So I'm assuming it's going to remove the woods on this tile here. So we'll have one food, one production. And then when we create the city, it'll change it to two food, one production. Let's see what happens. Okay, that's what I expected. And here we are, two food, one production. So the forests are all gone, you can see. We've basically got a, a two food, one production tile. So that's it, except that I said I was gonna tell you how to do the uh, neat rotating thing. You focus on a tile, you hold down the Alt key, and then while the Alt key is held down, you hold down the left mouse button and then move the cursor to the left or right. And you can let go of the uh, mouse button and nothing will happen. But once you let go of the Alt button, it rotates back to its original uh, orientation. So we've done all of the uh, possible tiles that we could do in one tile uh, away from our original start place. We've looked at uh, bonus resources. We've looked at luxury resources. Uh, no strategic resources around here to look at. Well, we'll have to try that in a different video or you can uh, uh, decide for yourself or make a test on your own to see what happens there. And I think we're ready to go. Thanks for listening.